you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead, who is very much alive, so go figure. Enjoy! Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called Forbidden Zone. This is the ultimate edition, and it also includes a soundtrack to this movie. The movie came out in 1980, but it's being re-released now on Blu-ray with the soundtrack from MVD Entertainment. This is a film by Richard Elfman, and the people in this movie are Hervé Villas-Chavez, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, Susan Tiernell, Marie Pascal Elfman, Toshiro Baloney, Virginia Rose, Phil Gordon Viva, Joe Spinell, The Kipper Kids, and Danny Elfman. And also the whole uh, soundtrack is done by Annie, uh, Danny Elfman with the uh, Mystic Knights of the Oingo Boingo. And uh, what this movie is about though, it's about this girl named Frenchie and uh, she's uh, living with her family in this house and in her their basement is this um, like kind of like a portal to another dimension, the fifth dimension, and uh, she goes into it. And uh, in the fifth dimension is um, this king and a very jealous queen. And uh, the king is played by, uh, and I probably butchered the name really bad, uh, Herv, Herv Villa Shiz. I don't know how to say his name, but he's the guy from Fantasy Island, you know, the plane, the plane. He's that guy. But uh, he he uh, was the king, and uh, he's all about Frenchie because you know he's French, she's French, he's all about her, and uh, the the queen doesn't like this. So uh, she, the queen, kind of like kid, not she kidnaps uh, Frenchie and puts her away, and but yet the the king is still obsessed with her and everything. And uh, her family, Frenchie's family, um, a couple members of the family decide to come after her and try to find her. Eventually, people, you know, all start coming into this fifth dimension, and it's really weird. There's one guy in the movie who's uh, the chicken boy, who's like kind of like. Uh, like abused by his mother and that and uh she she he he still loves her but like she's abused by him and he actually like sleeps with chickens and has his arms up like he flaps like a chicken it's really really strange uh this the only way i could really describe this movie again i know this has been out since 1980 it's been out 35 years almost 36 years but i've never seen it or heard of it before and the best way to describe this movie is it's like a cartoon come to life if you ask me, it's not for everybody. It will not be for everybody. Like, for instance, I absolutely, absolutely loved this movie. I thought it was fucking hilarious. It's right up my alley. Uh, if if you're kind of into, like, weird, like, maybe, like, Adult Swim kind of cartoons or maybe, like, Tim and Eric, that kind of stuff, or, like, like even, like, the weird 80s... Um, like videos like kind of weird stuff y you'll definitely like this movie but uh shana didn't she was watching this and she's like what are you watching i was like this is fucking awesome danny elfman plays the uh the devil in this and it's it's the you know the mystic knights of oingo boingo but this is before they were just oingo boingo uh they believe they were first the mystic knights of oingo boingo then they were just the oingo boingo and then it was just Oingo Boingo. I could be wrong about that, but there is a really cool documentary in here. Uh, not really a documentary. There's an intro, and then like there's an interview with Richard Elfman, and he's talking to his brother Danny, and talking about the movie. And uh, there's also another Forbidden Zone that's I don't know if it's out or if it's coming out, but they show like a trailer for that, which looks you know pretty crazy, but kind of like. Um, more modernized in a way, but still weird. There's also an option on here to watch black and white or the color version. Uh, we I watch the color, but uh, I've seen like pictures and stuff of the black and white, and I think the black and white like is really cool. But I think because of the the color, like everything pops more. I don't know. It's, it's it makes it even crazier, I guess. But uh, I really I really enjoyed this movie. It's not for everybody, like I said. It's really messed up. And there's even like a, a, a guy, or like a frog, like he's got like a, it's obviously like a big frog head, but it's supposed to be a frog. It's pretty fucking crazy. There's things in here that like, like cut scenes and it make no sense at all. They're not even like really part of this, like they're part of the story, but they're not. It's crazy, crazy good movie. 
Uh, really, really like this. Uh, yeah, like I said, a frog butler. Uh, topless princesses and stuff. Plus the soundtrack. There's a lot of singing and stuff in this. It, it, it's so good. It, it's, you know, if you really like Oingo Boingo, you'll like the soundtrack for this, which I think is great. One thing, and I know I said that this isn't for everybody, which it isn't, but uh, it is offensive at the same time, for, is that some people might get offended. Uh, if you take it too seriously, if you have a stick up your ass, you're not going to like this movie, and you're going to find everything offensive. But you really just got to look at it like it's a, it's a off-the-wall comedy. It's, you know, crazy. Just, it, it, it's a, it's a car, cartoon come to life. That's all I could say. It's really, really, really out there, and I fucking love it. Absolutely love it. I I didn't. I saw the trailer for this, and I was like, "Wow, that looks amazing!" And what is? What am I getting into? I'm getting into awesomeness. That's what I, so. I I highly recommend this. I love this. This is one of the best things I've watched in a long time, and uh, I I recommend it. So I'm gonna put the trailer below, and I'll put a link to where you can purchase this, and that's it. But before you do that, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And that's it. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.